base station unit on top of the post here. And all we're going to do now is, is start that base station on the control point through the software on the data collector here. IMU, blade right here. And this is constantly, you know, 100 times a second, sending information back to the system on the position of the blade. So body IMU is located just behind this plate here. Uh, same, same function as a blade sensor, 100 times a second, sending positioning information of the frame or the body of the, of the dome. So dual antennas on the cab, front and rear. This would be the front antenna here. And then identical installation and, and protection on the back of the cab. Uh, dual antennas are always providing orientation of the system and uh, much better than having a single antenna system. This is your main GPS receiver, uh, the MCR3. This contains the processing board, the radio board, uh, all of the CAN connections run through this box and then out to the display unit in the cab. So here's your, uh, your main cab control box, uh, the GX60. Um, this is where all functionality of the system is controlled. So through the uh, blade joystick control, this is where we turn the system into automatic uh, and off. And this is also where we activate the smart grade functionality with the quick movement forward of the joystick. What I've done is I've positioned the blade at a zero percent. And then I've internally checked the position and the elevation that the system's telling me the, the blade is getting right now. So it, inside the control box, I've got essentially the same elevation from the left to the right side. And so that helps me verify that it's got a, you know, that it's, it's at truly a 0% elevation. What I'm going to do when I show up on a job site is I'm going to make sure that we're getting the same answer as the customer is. Uh, when I first get to the job site. So we'll take the customer's rover and then check it against the, the elevation that we're getting on the GPS uh, uh, dozer at the plane. And in this case, I'm, I'm within a couple hundredths of a foot, which I'm good to go on the right side of the plane. So I'm, I'm satisfied that I'm getting the same answer on this initial check of the position of the blade. It is also very common to take the blade at this point and put it down on a fixed known benchmark and check, for instance, the elevation at the middle of the blade. Um, I haven't set one out here at this job site here at our demo yard, but um, that would be a common practice on a job site to set the blade actually down on the ground and check that against a known benchmark. The next phase would be to actually take it out in the dirt and make some passes and check it with the rover to make sure the actual results that the machine is, is putting down on the, on the dirt are matching with our rover.